Nebraska basketball made history yesterday when 2021 guard Bryce McGowans chose to commit Nebraska and Fred Hoiberg. He is rated as a five-star recruit, and he became Nebraska's first five-star commit ever in the highest rated high school commit in Nebraska basketball history. But the significance goes well beyond a boost in Nebraska's 2021 team recruiting ranking. Today, we will be talking about the commitment, what this means for Nebraska, and why this is one of the best days in Cornhuskers Hoops history. But first, videos like this don't typically do well, and I'm kind of testing to see how a video like this would do. So if you like this kind of thing, be sure to give the video a like. Let me know what you think down in the comment section and suggest another video like this. And also stay until the end to help it get in the algorithm, which will help my channel do better and I can make more videos. Now let's get started. His brother Trey is already on the roster after he transferred from Pittsburgh, so there was definitely a good chance his brother would join him. This is arguably the biggest day in Nebraska basketball history, as there are not many other milestones this program has had. The former Florida State commit switched his commitment to the Huskers and said, quote, I chose Nebraska because of how much trust I have in the program and the coaching staff. Coach Hoiberg has a proven track record of getting guys ready and helping them get to the NBA. Also, having an opportunity to play with my older brother is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. This could be a once-in-a-lifetime moment for Husker fans as well. They are the only Power 5 school to have never won an NCAA tournament game and are arguably the worst high major basketball program in history. Tim Miles did a pretty good job during his time, but he got run out of town for missing out on two NCAA tournaments he probably should have made. McGowan's won't even arrive on campus until 2021, but his addition, paired with all the work the staff has done, has changed the perception of Nebraska basketball. Schools at the bottom of the totem pole are not supposed to land 5-star recruits. They certainly aren't supposed to get players who are heavily pursued by blue bloods such as Kentucky, Kansas, North Carolina, and Arizona either. You can chalk it up to the Huskers getting lucky enough to have his brother to help seal the deal, and yes, that was definitely a major factor, no question. But Nebraska doesn't get Trey McGowan's, a former four-star, without having a real vision of a good coach leading the way. And this can be said for all the other transfers that have come to Lincoln from perennial NCAA tournament contenders. Before Friday, there was a narrative out there that Hoiberg was only interested in the transfer market and didn't prioritize high school recruits like other programs do. And to be fair, the two roster flips over the past two years have definitely backed that up. But now, Nebraska just landed one of the most highly coveted high school prospects in the country and got him to sign in the fall. And this wasn't a deal where McGowan's was scrambling to find a new school after a late decommitment or something. He had his time to pick and he had all the options in the world and he chose the Huskers before even playing a game his senior year of high school. Basketball recruiting is a very small world, especially with the elite level recruits on top of the AAU circuits. Kids talk, as do high school and AAU coaches, so Nebraska will probably definitely have a lot of buzz. When a player of McGowan's profile picks a school like Nebraska, people take notice, especially younger recruits who are also being recruited by the Huskers. He's been compared to Devin Booker, Will Barton, and guys like Malcolm Brogdon, and that's definitely a good company to be. Fred Hoiberg said, quote, as a player, Bryce is an elite scorer, a perimeter player who is efficient from all three levels. He uses his size well to create mismatches and possesses the athletic ability to play a number of spots in our system. His skill set meshes up with the up-tempo style we play, and he has the ability and potential to flourish in the system. Bryce comes from a great family, and we are pleased to add him to our roster next year. The only person in our program who may be more excited than me today is his older brother Trey, as they will have the opportunity to play together at this level. This is a massive commit for Nebraska, and I really like this because we don't typically see prospects like this go to smaller schools. This kind of reminds me of Missouri back in the day, who had a terrible coach in Kim Anderson, Conzo Martin comes in and lands Michael Porter Jr. From there, they got Jonte Porter, Blake Harris, and Jeremiah Tillman, all top 100 players, and they were also in the running for Kevin Knox. So guys like McGowan have a lot of influence, and we could see a big trend of Nebraska getting some good players all of a sudden, and I think that would be pretty cool. This season, I don't expect a whole lot of the Huskers, but next year, they will have only lost two guys and have brought in McGowan's and potentially some other guys. The Big Ten is getting a lot better, and Nebraska with Hoiberg is definitely going to start closing the gap. It's time for Northwestern to step up their game and hire someone a lot better, but I highly doubt that'll happen. I'm really excited for Nebraska basketball, and this is definitely a big day for Nebraska basketball fans. And if you are a fan, let me know what you think down in the comment section. If you're a fan of other schools, let me know what you think of this commitment as well, and drop another idea for what I should do for college basketball in my next video. Before you go, videos like this don't typically do well, and I want to see how a video like this does on YouTube, so be sure to give it a like and drop your thoughts down in the comment section if you enjoyed. Before you go, check out all my other college basketball videos and subscribe, and until next time, peace. Thank you.